I don't, this is one of those things where like politics has blended into music in a way I didn't want it to originally. I didn't intend it to, but whatever. Originally, um, there's a song called Let's Go Brandon by Loza Alexander, who's like this artist that like, we can drop a kind of sample of it in there. And there's a lot of references in there. Um, like, it's built around sound clips of people saying fuck Joe Biden because like that's a chant and it has to do with, you know, politics because Joe Biden's the current president. And um, now there's a song with Bryson Gray, Tyson James and Chandler Crump that is also called Let's Go Brandon. It's a thing you're seeing on T-shirts. It's become part of well, political well, discourse. Go. So let's go to the top. Yeah. Like, Well, Let's Go Brandon originated from a NASCAR event where a guy... Uh, driver brandon brown won the event and the whole crowd is going fuck joe biden and the announcer who was interviewing brandon brown after his win goes up uh, says oh they're shouting let's go brandon yeah you can pretty hear the like you can pretty clearly hear it and stuff and then that's why and then um all these republicans are you doing like hee hee let's go brandon we're saying really we're saying fuck joe biden am i okay well there's a lot of layers to it like there's a lot of layers to it so there's the I'm I'm going to take my bias out of here. On, on the right wing, they're constantly trying to say that all the media is left wing, and so they're trying to uh, be biased against conservatives. And so this example of a NASCAR event where people are saying "fuck Joe Biden" and the announcer said "let's go Brandon" is actually a case of that. It's a microcosm of that. Um, I think that's a stretch and goes against like a lot of like existing academic arguments about this. But like the other argument that's being made is, hey, listen, you had uh celebrities elsewhere like doing things from like beheading donald trump to a popular song saying fuck donald trump and this one is charting whereas the songs that went fuck donald trump weren't charting and actually weren't that like successful let's say i mean they had a lot of streams but they weren't billboard chart successful if you want to use that metric so Mm -hmm. they're complaining of a bias of oh is this too vulgar for like people in the media why is there this like why can't why are people upset over let's go brandon when people were saying fuck donald trump a couple years ago and that was totally fine and it's like first of all donald trump was the guy who ran for president and was vulgar to begin with so it was sort of like a people were stepping up yeah, the rhetoric to meet that second of all people were saying fuck obama buck obama people were saying fuck george w bush fuck bill clinton people say fuck whoever is the leader because that's just how people are that's how they engage politically and honestly i'm down with it um but i think the real reason you're getting these offshoot songs is like and someone in billboard mentions this pretty quickly is that if you want to make a pro left leaning or like a broadly speaking pro left leaning song for like, you know, um, equal rights and climate change or things like that, it's a very saturated market to make those songs. Whereas if you want to make a pro conservative song, there aren't many of those songs. And so when there are a few of those songs, you'll get a lot of streams and a lot of listeners from people who want that. It's like a, there's not a lot of supply, but there's a good amount of demand kind of deal. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I I just think that like the weird thing happening here is that conservatives are trying so hard to create this like fake panic around it, and it's it's gonna work because there are people who are waiting to listen to a fake narrative about them who will take it in and go see the people in the media said the thing I already believe there it has to be true, but of course like. It's just people cashing in, as is all of the music industry. So um, we'll go into it. Whatever. 